Primer High Def bringing you a tutorial on how to do my Modern Warfare 2 intro that looks like this. Yeah, you get it. So basically, we're gonna be recreating that, but um, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so start off in a new motion project and let's go up into library particle emitters all and choose analog modulator and then click apply so this will bring the effect right in and as you can see it has a slight fade in but it's not necessarily popping out like it is kind of in my video so to give it that pop out effect, you gotta select the HUD, turn the HUD, up, HUD sorry, heads up display, on, and select analog modulator. Okay, so what you wanna do is set a keyframe and then turn the scale all the way down. And then you wanna go open a few seconds later, not open, over, a few seconds later, turn it up a bit until you get to at least a full second. Then turn it to the size you'd like and center it in the video. Center it. Okay. So now end the keyframe and play it back. And you can see it kind of has a shrinky grow look done to it. But we also want our text to follow that kind of like it does in the intro. So, let's give it that text look. Not text look, let's actually add text. So, click the text button and just start typing some text. I'm going to type Prowler I Def. Okay. So, bring the text into at least the beginning. And as you can see, it kind of just stays there, but we want it to kind of grow along with the text. But first we need to make this text look cool, so go up into the inspector, choose text, and then go on, choose your font, whatever, I'm going to keep that font, go on style. And to give it a cool color, I'm going to choose one of the greens, if I can, let's go ahead, I'm going to choose one of the greens, not that one, that's too bright, it's a darker green about that green or you can just go in here choose green I like that dark green that's pretty good or you know we can just do black like I have in my video and choose yeah that's basically it I want the size to go up a bit so go on format and set the size up and then select the transform tool and center the text okay now can you do the HUD? Okay, you can get a HUD for the text. So activate the HUD on the text. And as you can see, you don't really need to do a fade in unless you want, because the text kind of appears with it. Unless you just want it to look cool and get that cool text appear look, we can do that. Oh, geez, what did I just do? Okay. I don't know what I just did, but ignore that. So, let's go to the beginning and set the size to zero and add a keyframe. Let's go up a few seconds in the timeline and bring it up a few sizes, a few more, bring it up about halfway, and then go to the last one and bring it up full size and line it up in the timeline. So adjust the size, see what you like, that's kind of huge, about that size is right, and then line it up, and the keyframe, and sit back and watch. And you can see it kind of grows and lines up. And then if you want, you can make it fade out, but it just kind of stops and replays. But we can do a fade out here, so you can... Add a keyframe, 
and then move all the way over to the end, to the like 11 seconds, and set it to zero, and get rid of the keyboard, and stop recording. Now, this plays, this plays, this plays, and then it fades out. It kind of fades out a bit much, too fast, but you can already see the name, and then it kind of shrinks and shrinks and shrinks until you can't see it anymore. Obviously, you can export this into iMovie or Final Cut Pro 10 and make it speed up a bit. Or, you know what, we could just resize it. And now, it's a bit faster. Or just shorter. Yeah, it kind of fades out a bit too fast, so we're just going to make it about 151 frames long. I think that's 4 or 5 seconds. Maybe 4 seconds. I'm not sure. Now you can see you kind of don't get that fade out look, but we don't want it to be a fast fade out, so we're just going to redo that fade out right here. I know what happened. So we want to record, go to the last frame, and then put the scale to zero. Actually, also want everything to zero. Now, we go back and we play it. Whoa! And when it goes down, it fades out. Okay, so this is how to make this intro in motion 5 and this intro is pretty good I might use it actually so thanks for watching and please subscribe